if I knew this answer, who am I? I would be dancing in joy and bliss. I believe we all are seeking for the same question, who am I? Why I am here? What am I doing? What is my purpose? And if I am created, who created me? And if I am created, what do I do with me, myself? This community, this is like the intention, the true intention, the sense of this whole place is community. Even though this is a hostel, even though this has business interests, but the purpose behind it and the feeling behind it is a community and that's that's how universe got me here because our, all our ideas, all of us are like, at a, we are at a time where everything is converging into each other. So we are all coming up with ideas which are individual, personal expressions of freedom, of beautiful life. And we are all coming together, sharing each and each other's visions with each other and just being. And uh, while being, we are creating this beautiful reality around us. I crossed the water. <laughs> Chai is coming now. <laughs> yes, big Chai. All right. Wants to have Chai? Yeah. Basically, I definitely feel like the mum of this place. Um, and all these guys, these beautiful people from all over the world, yeah, they, they feel like my children a bit, I would say, like that they welcome them or that we are welcoming them and that we provide for them. But eventually all that they are doing is for themselves. So we just provide the tools and the kids can grow up here. <laughs> Everything changed quite a lot, but eventually we made it uh, to Anjuna to go amazing. And um, now we are pursuing the dream of having a house for travellers, for people who have travelled the world, who, for people who just got out of their home and just welcome them here with this free spirit, this attitude that everyone is the same and a great person and we just try to enhance their talents which they maybe don't know that they have them. <laughs> so this is basically it, how it started and what it's going to be. <laughs>
every day almost almost every day this is how i can share love that's like if i would be a mother and everyone would be my children this is what i would have to do or this is what i would do wow and that's how i like i can say that this journey that i am taking for myself is to realize the woman that is within me whatever your mind can see it you can do it i learned that from jj a very good friend in guatemala and many 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 negative thoughts will tell you not it's not possible no you need this no you need that but if you find the right people and you share your idea the idea becomes real so yes i think that if you want to have a better thinking talk with people people <laughs> I love people. If you ask me if I will do it again, my answer is yes. I have seen a lot of fears that I had, a lot of problems that I had personally, a lot of ideas that I had. and my experience here they confirm that everything is possible so it's a one time experience that i will never change in my life how do we keep the community it's simple here you will never work here you will never here you have to do this people all the time create things and they don't have a place to do it they don't have a place so we gave them a place to express themselves and that's how this wall in the chilot area came through many people for many months we were discussing about what to do in the wall what to do and people said i want to do it i want to do it and at the end 14 people created this beautiful wall What am I doing here? I don't know. I'm really searching or seeking for the answer to that question. What am I here for? The purpose of my creation? Yeah. <laughs> so many different ways to explore yourself. There is the water, the fire, all the elements are here. It's the international capital of the crazies. <laughs> Every kind of crazy possible. Slight crazy, really crazy, amazingly crazy, crazily crazy, all kinds of crazies come here. Well, the appeal of this hostel in particular was that it is such a strong community that you come here and people tell you like welcome home. You know, it's not something that you generally see very much. Live in a tribute where they trade or exchange goods and um so without any money. Yes, we believe in that system. Uh we exchange books often. We exchange food often. uh so yeah i i definitely believe in this uh, barter society where i do good for someone and then i just get the karma back from there it's beautiful especially when the transition from light to dark you have the transition happening inside of you as well to explore and observe how things happen it's beautiful it's easier when you have the visual also in front of you everything you you can explore yourself through nature through everything don't know why i keep saying this <laughs>
getting back to exploring yourself. It's actually not about the sunset, uh, but if you're specifically asking about sunset, like jamming is what I would love to do at all moments. So since everything is music, whatever we are doing, we are particularly making or sharing music in some way or the other. So we are always jamming. But then jamming with instruments is like creating melodies and bringing harmony. So doing it during the sunset is basically uh, sun setting means what like the light is passing to share light with other places <laughs> of the world and there comes the moon as uh, not a substitute but then like another source of light which is reflecting the original light to us so during sunset if we make music and like impart the vibrations of light within us and to the surroundings then it carries on to the night to the darkness yeah. And then we have a beautiful night and then comes the morning which is again beautiful with the beautiful sunlight that has come up, birds chirping. Uh, if you notice birds chirp the most in sunrise and then sunset. In the night only owls and all little bit here and there. Some beings of the dark. <laughs> Kush Milega. Everything is possible. <laughs> it's simple. Life is simple. It's you don't have to turn it around all the time. It's very practical. So a conclusion it's now that we have a hostel, a community. Get along with your community around you. Take care of your environment. And if you do good things, good things will come back. If you treat people with respect and uh, treat them nicely, then you will be treated like that as well. So always keep that in mind in India because everyone shares their own stories and has to wear their own little pack package. <laughs> so definitely be nice to those people here and they will help you tenfold. Traveling changes you and you should travel as much as possible because you only, you're not only seeing people but you're also seeing yourself like how you act and how you are who you are that really helps and traveling be it here in India or be it somewhere else it definitely enhances you in your spirits <laughs> one place on the face of earth where the dream of living men have found a home from the very earliest days it is India. It shaped my mind, anchored my identity, influenced my beliefs and made me who I am. India matters to me, I would like to matter to India. Mm -hmm.